Hello and welcome back to Foxhole. And if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. We are currently embroiled in a pretty large engagement here. We even have some artillery as far as I could tell right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, this video is kindly sponsored by Siege Camp and... <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying my very best to get involved into some pretty uh, pretty intense battles here. I actually attempted to save someone just now, but unfortunately we couldn't find a medic in time. And as a result, yeah, they, uh, they died. So, unfortunate, unfortunate, but it's okay because he's going to respawn. He'll, he'll be back here uh, hopefully kind of soonish, maybe. And uh, yeah, otherwise I'm going to try and um, <laughs> just move along here not uh, not get myself too uh, too murdered and uh, i have also now realized thanks to those of you in the comments that there is a secure map mode i had no idea that this was the case at the time unfortunately because otherwise i would have been able to be a little bit more secure in uh, what i was showing in the previous video but uh, this is the secure map mode yeah it's pretty cool because it actually doesn't show any of the intelligence that we may otherwise have uh, displayed so that's kind of nice. Otherwise, let me see if I can actually shoot some people. Oh, hello there. I see some. Oh, I think I shot. I, sh I think I shot him. I think I shot him actually. Look, we're getting him. We're getting him. Uh, maybe we can get. We yeah. Did we? Did we? Did we take him out? I actually have no idea. But I think we are actually hitting some people over there. Okay, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna just crouch down real quick. Just gonna crouch down. I think I actually took a couple of shots right there, but hopefully we're not going to succumb to our wounds just yet. I would like to very much, uh, well, participate in a, a bit more of a, a larger scale battle for a little bit of time at least. And um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I can only hope that maybe I'll, um, I'll be able to uh, assist in some minor way here and there. Oh, hello there. Okay, I don't want to shoot people in, on my own team. So I've got to be a bit careful because they seem some people seem to be standing out in the front here and I really do not want to shoot them, of course. So going to be a little bit difficult to actually do that. There we go. Okay, wait a minute. This guy's now gotten out of the way, which is good. Maybe we can actually shoot that guy over there. Or that one. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see just where you can shoot and uh, what kind of um, what kind of result you're going to get. But um, yeah, I basically only become an infantry. That's pretty much what I've been doing most of the time. I haven't taken any more shirts, by the way, so you don't have to worry about that. Because yeah, <laughs> that was a that was a mistake and a half, wasn't it? But thankfully, I only took two of them last uh, last episode. But thankfully. Yeah, we don't really need to worry about that any further. Oh, hello there. Oh, I don't think I can actually shoot him from here. Unfortunate. Maybe uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think I can really do much from here actually because they're. they're oh no. Oh, oh oh. Some of them are actually moving. Oh, there was a grenade actually. Yes, there was a grenade. Okay. Yeah, we're probably wanting to move away from here. I am. Uh, I am somewhat wounded. I am somewhat wounded. So we might need to. <laughs> we might need to be a little bit careful here, but uh, yeah, that fellow needs a um, that fellow needs a medic, as you can quite clearly tell. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're you're healing me. Oh, I so I very much appreciate that. Thank you, thank you very much. I was thinking to myself, oh yes, thank you. Yes, ah, uh, that is amazing. That is very very cool. All right, yeah, I love that. I love that. I have no idea how to play a medic, but uh, these people are just so incredibly cooperative and the sense of community that you get as a result of all of this is just amazing it really is it's so incredibly rewarding to see that kind of camaraderie between your soldiers between your your friends basically in this kind of scenario it's just absolutely amazing the, these uh, these bunkers are actually very well made as well you can see here that i can actually shoot out of this one i could even you know, technically, I could shoot all the way from here. I mean, kind of, not really, but yeah, it would be kind of cool if we could maybe uh, get a couple of get a couple of shots off here. I don't think so, but of course, that's the thing. If the enemy sees that there's a bunch of uh, bunch of soldiers in a particular bunker or trench or something like that, from the very limited experience that I've seen so far, they do tend to throw grenades. They do tend to throw those grenades. And it does a lot of damage, obviously, as you might expect. And um, yeah, <laughs> you do need a medic at that point. Although, I mean, you could run around very, very low in HP and then just hope that you survive. But yeah, generally, it's a good idea to be a little bit careful. Oh, hello there, sir. 
Oh, that, oh, that's a grenade. Okay, I'm getting out of there. That, <laughs> that is a grenade and a half. Thank you very much. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've got to be careful here as well. I don't know whether you've noticed, but the, the reticule. You see the reticule at the very end of my, uh, my uh, firing line here? That basically determines my accuracy. So the longer you can stay crouched or, uh, or basically stationary, static as much as possible, the more accuracy you're going to get out of your shots. And I didn't realize this beforehand, but it's very, very useful to uh, take a look at the beginner's guide. Oh yes, I know, I know. There's a beginner's guide made by a member of the community. Uh, he has, a, he has a, a YouTube channel as well. And um, the, the beginner's guide is going to be in the uh, going to be in the description. So if you are also a newcomer to the game, uh, you should probably take a look at it. It's it's pretty simple, and you might expect. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I would expect to see from these kinds of things. I'm going to try and get this guy. Ah uh, no. Uh, Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, I think he died. I think he died. I tried to save him. I tried to save him. Thank you very much. Thank Let's you. I, <laughs> I, that's the thing. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I, I can't actually talk at the moment because here's the thing. I have actually made my um, my microphone kind of uh, low low volume because I don't want to bother these people with my commentary. If that actually uh, if that actually happens, I mean, I I think it's a push to talk thing, but I just generally didn't want to be irritating people by me talking all the time. You know me, I generally tend to talk uh, a lot and uh, I kind of wanted to prevent that from happening. Can I maybe assist this guy? Maybe um, provide some covering fire? Oh, that's a grenade. Okay. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Let's uh, let's protect this guy. No, never mind. Doesn't seem like we need any protection, but there are a couple of enemies coming over here. Maybe I can shoot him. Yep. Oh, oh, maybe. Okay, no, there's another grenade. I'm gonna get out of there. <laughs> uh, that's that's basically the best way that I can even act uh, in this kind of situation. The best thing that I can currently do from my perspective is literally act like a grenade magnet. A grenade magnet, an ammunition magnet, basically just be someone that is going to uh, get shot at, pretty much. That is the one thing that I, um, I think I can do okay at. <laughs> and, uh, it's um, it's not a good thing to be. Let's just say that it's definitely not a good uh, not a good look. Oh, uh, hello. Yeah, the enemies are really encroaching on us over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can maybe snipe some if they uh, if they get onto the top here. Gonna be a bit careful about that. I am actually getting sniped myself, so I need to be a bit a bit aware of that. And uh, maybe just maybe uh, we we should probably go over in this direction, shouldn't we? There's someone over here. Wow, that's a that's a nice spot this guy's got. That is a wonderful, wonderful spot. Maybe I can actually shoot up there. I don't think there. I think he's moved now. Actually, I think he's probably moved. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The best thing we can do is just kind of stay, just stay alive. Stay, stay alive. Stay out of the. Oh wow, really? Oh, this is uh, this is bad. Um, hey guys, can you? Uh, can you can you help this fellow? Oh, yeah, that's not particularly good. Okay, um, yeah. The, oh, no, there there was the medic. There was the medic. But um, can we can we get him? Can, can you can you rev can you uh, can you help us? Oh, I think he, I think he might. I'm not sure if he has enough bandages yet yet. But um, uh, yeah, there we go. He's working on him. Yes. Oh, we actually we actually helped someone. Oh, that's amazing. That is great. Okay, I love it. That kind of thing is amazing. I love that. That's exactly what I'm talking about with the camaraderie and everything. Thank you very much, by the way. They're healing me. And, um, wow. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing really inspires. Uh, just that, just, you, you really feel inspired to do more for your side when everyone is so incredibly helpful. I don't know whether you've noticed, but every single person is trying to be helpful. Oh, look at this. We've even got one of these. Wow, look at how cool this is. Okay, yeah, they are absolutely murdering everything with this thing. Well, I, I can only hope that they are. Uh, if they're not, then I have I have no idea. But yeah, we can only hope that they're doing something like that. Did, am I stuck? Did I just get stuck there for a real quick second? Yeah, I think I did. Anyway, let me see if I can maybe help out here. Uh, no, we got some friendlies over there. That's all right. The best thing I can do, as I say, 
Well, the best thing that anyone can do is survive. Oh, look, 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 this guy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and uh, lay down some covering. Uh, well, not covering fire because let's face it, I'm probably not gonna hit anything. But generally, just giving any kind of assistance, whether that is just my body in the way to try and absorb some shots. That's pretty much all I can really provide because, as I say, I'm not exactly the most experienced soldier ever, <laughs> that is for sure. But if I can just assist a little bit by providing a, a bit of a, a bit of cover here and there, there's actually someone over here. I'd like to... Oh, I'm shooting the rock. It's not really going to help me. Uh, okay, here we go. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, hello. Can we can we shoot him from here? Oh, we can. Oh, we, we could have. Oh, I, I shot him. Yes. Oh, I shot him. Unfortunately, I'm out of ammo. Okay, gonna have to reload. I actually shot him. Uh, I'm out of... <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I took some damage. I took some pretty heavy damage right there. But that's fine. As I say, I don't really mind too much if I have uh, become wounded. Am I bleeding? I think I am bleeding. Is this guy a medic? I'm actually not entirely sure who a medic is. I don't know where... Um... Uh, I think that guy's a medic. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty damaged, guys, but uh, you don't have to heal me. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Oh, oh, and then we're gonna get run down. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Um, yeah. Okay. Great. That is, that is wonderful. Uh, yeah. That, that's the point. Even if I was to speak, um, I, I just wouldn't want to. Uh, clog up the communication lines basically because I want people to be able to hear things that are actually important but me saying you know thank you or whatever even though I would love to be able to say that because I think it's really um, really nice of people to actually help me and heal me and stuff um, I just I just kind of want to be uh, I want to keep people oh wow okay I'm getting shot once again oh did I just get shot in the leg are you serious <laughs> Oh, I seem to have gotten shot in the leg. Okay. Um, yeah, I am now... Wait a minute. Um, wh what is actually happening with my... Um, <laughs> what is happening with my character right now? Is he okay? No. No, he is... He is very badly injured. Oh, there we go. We can now start moving again. Okay. Whew. It seems like he got suppressed or something like that. I think that might have been the suppression effect, possibly. I don't actually know 100% on that. But, um, yeah, I think that might have been the suppression effect, which basically, basically means that you have become overwhelmed by enemy fire. And uh, can I actually shoot someone from here? Yes, I can. Oh, did I hit him? I think I might have hit him. I, I think I might have got him. Yeah, I think I might have gotten him, actually. I, I think so. I might have. Because I think I saw him uh, I think I saw him go down or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But um, whatever the case, I would actually like to have a look and see if I can get some more ammo. I don't have any ammo at the moment, so let me just pick up two extra clips. I'm not going to take anything too dramatic this time around. I'm basically just going to take what I need and then just move on because I don't want to um, I don't want to hog everything, even though there are a lot of uh, pieces of ammunition in there. I really don't want to be uh, taking things that other people could use more effectively. Maybe I could shoot over here. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 no, that guy's shooting me. Ah, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now that's the point. Those kinds of situations, I just didn't see the guy. I was focused on the other one. And I, uh, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to get saved here. I don't actually want anyone to come over and actually save me, to be honest. Because, uh, this is kind of a dangerous area to die in, in my opinion, anyway. And, uh, oh, oh, wait. Is he, is he actually... Oh, he's actually helping me! Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Is he actually going to get me before time runs out? Oh, my... Wow, sir. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you. I'm, I'm waving. Thank you. <laughs> There's, is it, there, there isn't actually a way for me to thank people in emote. So I basically just wave at people, usually. I, I don't think that that is... Um, I don't know. I think that's fine, right? I think that's okay. Ugh. Yeah, as I say, I don't really want to clog up the communications, but there you go. We actually got saved. Amazingly enough, we actually got saved. But that has actually provided us with a really nice insight as to how it works when someone is being carried. Because obviously, I have never been on the receiving end of being carried by someone. But now I have, it kind of tells me, yes, it does stop the... Um, it does stop the... Oh, thank you very much. This is the same guy. <laughs> 
Um, it does stop the timer. Um, uh, it does stop the timer from uh, from from lowering, basically, which is really amazing in my opinion, because that basically means that the uh, the the longer that you hold someone, the longer that they have to survive, which in my opinion is really kind of amazing and and su super cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's just a, a nice thing to to know about. Oh, they're throwing grenades up there, as you can see. There, there's probably someone over there. Let's face it. Okay, I'm just kind of patrolling between these two points at the moment because I generally want to try and help. Oh, no, no, no. Can I help you, sir? Um, how do I... There we go. Oh, okay. I try to... <laughs> I try to pick you up, man. Oh, I try to pick him up. Oh, well, never mind. He was on that elevation and I couldn't actually pick him up from beneath. You know what I mean? So it kind of, uh, it kind of forced me to jump up on the rock and that was enough for, uh, for me to get, um, for me to get murdered. So, <laughs> but that was a nice, uh, that was actually a very, very nice effort. And you can see here just how well my, uh, my forces are doing, or should I say not my forces, but our forces. Something that I also learned from the beginner's guide is that uh, you can actually set your spawn point a little bit closer to the front line, and that has helped me a great deal in my other adventures as well. I actually forgot to do it this time, which was absolutely fantastic, but yes, you know, it is a phase of learning, and I will no doubt remember it next time, because I really do not want to run from all the way over at the, uh, the home base all the way over here, but... Yes. Anyway, we actually just had some uh, we just had some trucks actually come in and resupply us, which is absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice to see that. And uh, you can see here, um, actually, our um, heavy artillery or whatever these things are—they're not artillery, but they're heavy guns—are um, are uh, actually breaking through a lot of the opposing enemies. Well, obviously, they're, they're enemies. The opposing teams. Uh, sandbags, which is really, really good, because that means that the uh, the enemy has much less uh, protection, and in general, is going to be it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, so maybe I can actually do something here. Maybe I'll be able to actually shoot someone. Ah, that that fellow right there is waiting for a shot from us right there. Maybe we can get him. Yeah, the sandbags are obviously kind of irritating for us at the moment. I don't think I'm going to be able to shoot this guy, to be honest. I'm going to stop shooting because there are some people coming up. And I don't really want to shoot someone in the back. One of my own people. I mean, I know. Okay, okay. If you've seen my Bannerlord series and you've seen my Warband series, you know. Okay. <laughs> you know 100% of the time. Usually, uh, it's a tradition for me to hit my own team. And I'm not playing multiplayer, obviously. I am playing single player. But generally, <laughs> that happens to me a great deal. And I very much would um, appreciate not doing that this time. I've actually, t I've actually taken a lot of damage. Uh, I was about to say right there. Yes, good job with the grenade. That was actually a very, very well placed grenade because it got me on the very edge. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Well, thankfully, this fellow is actually helping me out. Thank you very much. And uh, we have some, as you can quite clearly tell, I, I know what the medics look like now. So that's actually really nice too. So uh, you can see here that they, uh, they're they running around with doctor's bags, basically. And those are the ones. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is, uh, yeah, I was actually going to yeah, do an emote, but oh well, never mind. Um, I think everyone's just very, um, <laughs> you know, very, uh, very hectic and, and kind of running around doing everything that they can to further the war effort as much as possible. But you could see just how crazy these emplacements are. It's amazing. It is so incredibly cool to see this, this kind of thing in action. And you see how many people are working as a team against uh, the, the other team, which is also attempting to do exactly the same thing. I'm actually going to think about um, maybe what I should do is uh, maybe I should just you know, run up and uh, try to uh, pick people up and then run them back to the medics or something like that. Because for me personally, I, maybe that's the best way that I can actually make a difference in the game in comparison to uh, actually being uh, uh, actually being like a rifleman or something like that. Maybe I should literally just be a person that helps out the, uh, the wounded. That might actually make more sense, possibly. But uh, there's a lot of grenades going off here. And <laughs> that's a bit worrying. Let's just say that. That is a bit worrying. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on here? Okay, we've got some people coming in from over there. I'm actually thinking, can I get on top of this? 
Can I get on top? No, I can't get on top of that. But I might be able to go over there. Uh, yeah, I can probably go over there. Okay, wait a minute. I think I can go this way. Yeah. Okay, I can go over here. Okay, let me just get out my rifle real fast. And then we're just going to climb up here. And then I'm just going to go prone. I think prone is pretty good for here. And then I might be able to get some shots on some enemies from here. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to. Uh, actually, I'm not. I, I could do it from here, but not from anywhere, uh, not from anywhere else. I might be able to jump up here. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. Now that's actually pretty useful, possibly. Although I am probably going to get shot here, more than likely. But you can see how far away I can see. It's pretty, uh, pretty good vantage point, I gotta say. Pretty good vantage point. Should have a pretty decent range on this too. So I might be able to even do something here. So let's actually just see whether I can maybe... Maybe I can pick off someone that tries to walk a little bit closer to us here. I mean, obviously, we are going to have an effective range. And I don't know whether my range at the moment is looking pretty good at all. Uh, yeah, we might not want to do this even. Maybe. Yeah, not seeing, not seeing anyone really anyway. They seem to be a little bit further over, so... I think I'm just going to drop down here. I'm actually wondering whether I take fall damage if I fall from all the way at the top. I don't really want to do that, though, just in case. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, it's, it's me, so, you know, I'm going to die from fall damage. Mm -hmm. Yes, more than likely, right? But if I go over here instead, maybe we can do something here. Okay, oh, 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 we're moving. We're moving. We might be moving forward. That, that's a bunker right there. That is a bunker. That is looking real good for us right now. We seem to actually be doing a pretty decent job. I'm surprised that no one's shooting each other, to be honest. They must be very careful or very, very expert at um, making sure that they don't hit any of our own, uh, any of our own team, because I really do not want to do that. That is something that I very badly do not want to do, but... Yeah, we're, we're doing, we're seemingly doing quite well here. I'm going to move over here a little bit more. Oh, hello. Okay, that guy literally just got killed. Okay, shoot that guy. He's behind sandbags. I don't think I'm going to be able to really do anything there. I've got to be a bit careful about grenades. I don't think I can really see grenades unless I have, like, the, uh, the line of sight on them. Uh, it seems like we're not too bad. I am taking a little bit of damage from that one. I don't really want to die again, so... I'm going to just move back a little bit here. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I was actually not expecting someone to heal me, but I appreciate that. Thank you. There we are. Just just waving, waving at him. Okay, so, yes. Anyway, the best thing that I can do, possibly, is, as I say, maybe just pick up wounded, uh, wounded troops and uh, just transport them back uh, behind uh, a safe area. That might actually be the best thing I can do, because if I can't see anything to actually shoot then uh, maybe maybe that would be the way to go. I don't know. But yeah, well, anyway, let's actually have a quick look around here because you never know, there might be some enemies. What? Why am I on the floor? Did I just fall over? <laughs> what actually happened right there? I think I must have fallen over. Well, whatever the case, yeah. Let's actually just go back here and have a look-see about what's happening behind enemy lines. Look, there's a person there. That guy is, that guy's ours. He's sleeping for some reason. Uh, gotta be a bit careful here, possibly. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, there are definite enemies over there. Absolutely. Absolutely enemies. I'm gonna have to be really, really careful here. I only have two more shots. Yeah, I think the reason why I was moving so slowly before is because... Oh, hello. Yes, we got him. We got him. Okay, that was real nice. Uh, I actually helped that guy. I shot him once. I shot the enemy once and maybe uh, maybe contributed a little bit to it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, what was I wanting to say? Oh, I completely forgot now. Oh, well, never mind. That's what happens, you see. That is what happens. You uh, you get absorbed into the game and then you, you're just like, oh, yes, we must assist our, our friends, our comrades in... Uh, in their endeavors to survive and hopefully not get murdered in the process. Oh, there's a grenade. That's a grenade right there. Yep, there we go. All right, I'm going to have to... I'm going to just actually run up here. This might be a mistake. Um, no, okay, we're fine. Is that guy dead? <gasps> no, 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 you're dead. I'm going to help. 
There we go. Let's go. Uh, can I... Oh, I can't... <laughs> oh, no, I can't get up here. Oh, are you serious? Oh, wait a minute. Can I not... Yes, I can. Okay. Whew, we did it. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't have any... Uh... There are no... Uh... There are no medics over here. Oh, that. Oh, oh, is that is that is that one of ours or is that is that an enemy? I have no idea. Well, as I said before, the timer actually doesn't go down when I'm holding a wounded player, so that's actually fantastic. And um, maybe I can find. Oh no. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna get out the way of the uh, way out of the way of the truck. And uh, okay, guys, I'm gonna need some. Uh, gonna need some. Uh, yeah, here we go. Hello, hello, sir. Hey, hey there. Can you, um, can you help this guy? Um, there we go. How do I, how do I, how do I drop him? How do I, how do I actually drop him? I, v? It's V, but I have no idea. Uh. Wait. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Phew, okay. I, I tried pressing V, but it didn't work. I, I tried pressing V, but it didn't work. There we go. Yes. Awesome. All right. So we actually saved someone's life. Oh, now, wasn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Those are the kinds of moments you're going to see in this game. Obviously, that, I mean, to be fair, what I did just there, that was not really anything. Uh, that was not really anything too special, right? I mean, you know, that happens all the time. But... It's the experience of having this kind of situation happen. Is that an enemy? That is an enemy right there. There is an enemy right there. Be careful, sir. There he is. He's right there. He's right there. Can you can you see him? I gotta be real careful. Oh no! <laughs> no, he died. <laughs> he died. No. Oh, that is really bad. Oh, this is this is real bad. Okay, yeah, this is. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, that guy has a uh, that guy has a fast firing weapon, not a um, not a bolt action, and that was the reason why uh, we all died so incredibly easily because he just has a much faster fire rate, and he was able to do some pretty decent damage to us, mm -hmm. especially from a uh, uh, such a I, I think it was a pretty good vantage point that he had and I, I say vantage point as it's a I mean obviously it's not really a vantage point because it's not up in the air or anything like that but it really makes a huge difference it really does okay so we can either spawn in the encampment or we can go to the relic base I think you know what I'm gonna go to my home region mostly because I don't want to actually spend any of their resources to respawn myself and also because that's going to be it for this episode. And if you would like to uh, check out Foxhole, there is a link in the description. Highly recommended if you really want to experience these kinds of absolutely intense, uh, really wholesome camaraderie at times. Obviously, it's not always going to be like that, but you are going to get a lot of camaraderie in uh, this game. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.